It's my great pleasure to welcome you to the Animal Law Lecture tonight. It's traditional for us to begin with a welcome to country and a respect, uh, respectful uh, acknowledgement of the elders of the Cadigal people uh, of the Eora Nation and their traditional ownership of the land. I think it's also traditional not to mention the fact that we're not intending to give them any land back. It's interesting that tonight's topic is about the concept of personhood. Personhood is obviously of great importance to lawyers, but it's also very important in the history of New South Wales and Australia. I'm not sure whether many people remember that it's personhood that was acknowledged in the very early days of the colony uh, by the legal authorities by giving women the right to be both married and recognised as people. In the early days of the colony, we also had a lot of discussion about personhood and Aboriginal people. In the early days, there was recognition of the personhood of Aboriginal people, and it was only later that that was challenged, finally rectified in 1967. So I think it's natural and important that we be talking about personhood in Australia, because it's a place where it's constantly being acknowledged as an issue. Um, tonight's uh, lecture is, again, a, a part of the continuing relationship between the law school and the voiceless organisation. And we're very proud to once again have uh, one of the lectures here tonight. So I'm going to pass on now to Manny, who's legal counsel from Voiceless. And once again, I welcome you to the law school uh, and I hope and I expect that we'll have a wonderful night. Thank you. 